Right, this is where we left it last time. Uh, we've got the walls up. Uh, the door hasn't been put in there by the way, I was just uh, playing. And before I go any further, just because I didn't say in any of uh, the previous videos, this section at the front here, uh, a later stage I will be making some sections up like this, uh, with the brick churned back on both sides. But for the present moment, just strictly for access because I've still got we've still got a lot of work to get done inside here like the floor and uh, uh, chimney breasts and bits and pieces like that so that's the reason why I've left that out so don't panic about that we will get to it but today what we're going to do we're going to do the floor and ceiling so I'm going to reposition the camera and uh, we'll get started on doing the floor and the ceiling Okay, to start off with, you well, this is this is the way I do it. Piece of cling film in to your building. Now the cling film is there strictly as a barrier between gluing your wood in and the actual building itself. So the, the actual floor is going to come out because we're going to build the floor in situ. That is the reason why I've left this lip running all the way around. So we can actually make the floor. Now, I'm going to be using balsa wood. Now, the balsa wood I'm going to be using is 1.5 by 4.7, which is roughly a, I think it's a six by two. So we cut, mark and cut the first piece across the back. I hope you can see that. And it's just a matter of offering up, marking it, and cutting it. There's no measuring or anything like that, well it is measuring but you're just measuring with your bits of wood. Now you cut two bits, one for either, I'm cutting two bits, one for either side and then do exactly the same on the inside here is just to measure, cut a piece and fit that in to there like so. When it gets set, set. So what we're actually doing, we're making a frame inside the building. But this will go together slightly better when I start gluing it. So we're making a frame inside the bit. I'll tell you what, we'll glue it. It's going to save me a lot of aggravation. So, have to bear with me a second. Gluing. We'll go straight on to that. Uh, what I've done is some PVA and some black pigment uh, because the white glue if you need to do some weathering it will leave a white area which doesn't look good at all but if you use the black it leaves a black area which is easier to cover up so we'll get that first piece glued in like so Make sure that's all nice and tight. So that's the first piece in glued. Now we need to set your spacings out for your joists. Now spacings work out at about a brick and a half, which relates down to 12 millimeters. So I have cut some pieces at 12 mil and the, the way I will do it is a 12 mil piece of uh, balsa wood and we'll place that in there in the, sorry big arm in the way very difficult to show you so we glued a 12 mil piece into there Make sure that's all pushed out nice and tight. And we do exactly the same. I can turn that down. And we do exactly the same the other end. So I'm going to stretch across again. Like so. Actually it's quite easy to do this, but it's it just makes it hard when you've got you've got to work around a camera. So you've got your two 12mm spacings at the end, 
then you get your next joist, cut it to size, and you're best off working uh, one at a time, because then you can cut each joist and move it in or out. So, if we can, if I turn that around, can you see that? So now you've got your 12 mil space at that end and your 12 mil space at that end. And we just carry on uh, by putting spacers in and a joist, a spacer and a joist, right up until we get to the end. Now I'm gonna put you on pause. Oh, no, I won't put you on pause. Yes, I will put you on pause. And then I'll show you, I made a little jig up just to cut these 12 mil pieces that you can use all the time when you're doing floor joists and things like that. So I'll put you on pause and uh, move the camera and I'll just show you the little jig. Okay, little jig isn't anything special. Piece of MDF, my favorite stuff. I've always got loads of it laying around. Uh, what I did was whim square, I drew a line straight up. I glued a little piece of styrene to it using super glue, nothing too horrific about that. Then from this edge I measured 12mm and drew another line. Then using my square I put the square against this edge and drew another straight line down the centre. Then the same with the piece of styrene, cut the piece of styrene, it was just an, a scrap I had, and put the end, I'll turn it around that way, then actually glued the end to the end of that line. So what you've actually got, you've got a, a stop, so you can put your piece of material in, it will stop, and also you've actually got a cutting mark now, the end of that styrene with your line you can just actually cut your 12 mil pieces now if you've got one of them fancy choppers fantastic but if you haven't and you, you want because you, you need quite a few of these uh, this is just a quick simple way of making a gauge and you can keep this especially if you're doing uh, two or three floors to your building because you need a lot of these, you need these for the noggins as well. So, nice, easy, quick, cheap way uh, of cutting your bits. Right, I've got everything glued up, all my joists are in. Now, I'm not too worried about this piece here because this floor is going to be chopped back here. So, this is just to make it easier for me uh, as a fr whole frame. Now we'll leave this to dry for a few hours uh, to make sure it's good and dry because we need to lift it out now. We need to lift it out and we, then we need to put noggings in all the way across here uh, to keep it realistic. So I'm going to pause you, it'll only be a second for you but uh, I'm off for a cup of tea now. Well it's been a couple of hours so we'll take this out. back all the sticky stuff. Right, we'll just move this out of the way for a minute. And there we have our floor. Floor, ceiling. Now, the next step is to get some of the 12 mil pieces we cut and glue them in all the way across. Now these, if you don't know, they're called noggins and they were put in to stop the wood from actually twisting. So all I'm going to do, return it that way, I should put a course about there and another one about there. So I'll glue them all the way across all the way across there. Uh, I mean you can mark a line if you want to uh, and do them all in a nice straight line but if you ever take the floorboards up you'll find them 
not in a nice straight line they're all over the place but uh, I will glue them in a nice straight line and then we will move on to putting some floorboards on this so I'll get this glued in and we'll have a look at the floorboards now okay all the noggins and that are in it's all one piece and it's reason it is dry now now what I'm going to do I've got a few drops of uh, burnt umber and thinned it right down and all I'm going to do now is give the whole thing a wash everything because I'm not sure about what damage I'm going to do to the floors or ceilings as we go along so I am going to give this a coat of burnt umber and uh, leave it at that then we can start putting the floor down so I'll do that and I shall be back in a minute okay I've given it a coat of uh, burnt umber as you can see muchly improved now the next thing to do is it's a little bit too tidy so we're gonna have to do some destroying so I'm gonna cut these joists uh, around uh, this area here well I've just marked <coughs> Uh, all I'm going to do is just get my clippers in and we're going to cut it like so. simple reason is is when you come to doing your hardcore and rubbish you're going to need some bits to go into it so them bits are already pre weathered and everything else they can go straight into your hardcore so put them into a box and save them for a later date now that is only roughly how it's going to be they're nice neat cuts these ends are going to need roughing up and making into to look like they're snapped but we're not finished yet because this floor could go back a little bit more but I like to leave a little bit that you can actually got something to take off so the next little job is we need to get some uh, flooring down now I have got uh, some balsa wood and I will tell you the size of it and that is uh, 0 0.9 thick and I've cut it into strips of 4 mil using another one of my little jigs you'll find by the end of this series I like jigs uh, I will show you when I move it into a position where I can move the camera down I'll pause you and I'll show you the little jig Okay, this is my little jig. It's nothing special. Another piece of MDF. MDF comes in very useful. And if you can see, I've used a piece of 4mm styrene. And what I've done, I've glued it in a L shape. So what you've got is the 4mm piece of styrene running across here, which is glued to the back. And that's glued to the bench. So when you insert your piece of uh, balsa wood like that, find a scalpel. <coughs> All you have to do is keep it to that edge, run it down, and there you have your plank. The thing is, you make one up. You're going to be, you know, it's useful all the time. It, and once you've got one, you've got one. So they're very, very easy to make. And like I say, just draw draw a line with your square to make sure you've got a straight line. Uh, this is four mil by, I'm gonna have to get my gauge out again. Uh, can't get to it now. That's 
4 mil by 1.6 and that's just two bits of styrene glued together for the back just doing with super glue and one piece just glued on the front that's your 4 mil that's your gauge all the time very easy very quick to make once you've made one you'll put it in the drawer and you'll keep using it so I need to cut quite a few strips I've already cut quite a few and I'll pause you again and we'll go back up to the top now I've just shown you what we're cutting okay we're back at the top here all we're going to do is get our four mil strips very simply lay them across here I will cut that back to about here somewhere cut that bit off and put one that way and then we'll do one that way and do the same then cut and put a small piece in and we just go right the way across here when we actually come to these pieces we'll just leave them overhanging leave them overhanging quite a bit but uh, what I'll do is I'll get started on this start filling this in and when I get to here I'll come back and I'll show you what I mean how much to sort of overhang them all the way through because once we get this done we can turn to the ceiling so I'm going to put you on pause uh, I will get on and get these glued down and uh, we'll move on to the next bit okay I was beavering away there and uh, forgot I said I'd come back and when I got up to the these bits here as you can see I've just let them overhang for the simple reason is is when we do break the walls back we can snap them off so they look more realistic and then they can go into the debris pile as well now I haven't got much more to do on this bit what I'm going to do I'm going to fill this bit in and then I'm going to give the whole floor a coat of uh, burnt umber just thin down give the, the, all of it a coat and the same underneath so when we come back next time, uh, we'll be looking at uh, actually doing the ceiling. Well, I hope for one moment you thought you was in a room. It doesn't look too bad, does it? Now I've given it all a coat of uh, burnt umber and a little bit of uh, black. The only reason why I used the black was because I had some mixed up and I dipped my brush into it by mistake so <laughs> it all went in here we come out and look at the top it's still a little bit on the damp side but that will be okay it's starting to dry out nicely now now unfortunately this video has got quite long now so I'm going to have to do the ceiling on the next one but it will be out because it's Saturday now and I'll be doing this doing the ceiling and the walls together on Sunday so it should be out probably Monday I'm going to put this one out uh, probably early hours of Sunday morning and uh, then I'll put the other one out early hours of Monday morning so thank you very much for joining me and I hope it's been a help any questions leave them in the uh, box below I will answer them uh, but if I don't answer it straight away because I've got the two channels I'm hopping from channel to channel and I try and do two days on one and two days on the other so if you don't get a response straight away don't worry you will get a response from me so like I say thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you on the next one